Good morning, friends. So yesterday at worship, one of our passages, uh, scripture passages, was Psalm 86, verse 11, which is one of my all-time favorite psalms. Uh, I just, I love it because of the cry that David asks. He says, teach me your ways, O Lord. Uh, this cry that he knows that he doesn't know enough, and he needs the Lord to open up for him uh, the way that he should go. And uh, it, it's a call for us, this side of the cross and where we are at in the church life, uh, to come to Scripture, to invest in this book, to allow it to saturate our imaginations and our minds, to, to, to shape our own desires. Now, the, the second part of that verse, teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth, right, is a whole about how do I live this way for you on a daily basis. But then it, the second half of the verse <laughs> shifts and says, unite my heart that I might fear your name. So David recognizes that not only does he not know enough and in order to live in the way that God wants him to do, and he needs God to saturate his mind and his imagination for that, he recognizes that within himself that there is a disconnect, that his heart is divided, that there's a part of him that wants to do what God wants him to do, and there's another part of him that wants to do what he wants to do, and his life is full of him making those kinds of choices, sometimes to follow the Lord and sometimes to do what he wants to do, as is your life and as is mine. And so we, like David, need to come to the Lord and say, God, we do not know enough. We need you to teach us your ways, but, but beyond that, our desires are broken, and we need you to bring unity, not just within ourselves, but around your heart and around the things that you are after, Lord. And the way that we do that is submitting ourselves to this. So I want to invite you, as someone who is in their, this journey of pursuing the Lord, to, to join me Monday through Friday for midday prayer. This is a time for you to step away from the rush and hurry that all that's going on and for you to submit yourself to the reading of God's word and allowing this word to saturate your mind and your imagination and you hearing and listening to a word. It's also a time for us to pray and ask God to bring unity to our hearts in our pursuit of him and, and in our response of faith uh, to the things that he's calling us to do, right? And so it's it's us acting out um, the very thing that, that David was praying for. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. So uh, with, <laughs> with all of this, uh, please join me Monday through Friday at Midday Prayer. It's on our Facebook page, noon, uh, 12, 15. So set your alarm and, and join me. All right, friends, I hope to see you then. God bless.